Jimmy, it wasn't the start that your team was looking for. I mean, how much was that race all kind of done and dusted at the start? Yeah, I think if you look at both races, the guy that sort of got that first cross and got ahead really controlled the racetrack. And, you know, we tried to go into damage control and just sort of be there trying to be breathing down their necks and try and wait for an opportunity to present itself. You know, we made a few little mistakes here and there, but I thought generally we did an OK job of that. They just... Nothing presented itself, and the reason for that is those guys sailed, you know, two very, very flawless races, I thought. I'm sure you're yet to have a, a detailed debrief, but what can you take from today's racing into tomorrow? Well, I think on the positive, I thought the boat performance was very good. I thought the boat was sailing just fine. I thought our manoeuvres in general, the, I thought the guys on board did a great job. Clearly, there's quite a few things that we want to get better at and sharpen up on, and that's, you know, we'll be spending a fair bit of time tonight going through that, so we can really focus on coming out tomorrow, probably lighter conditions tomorrow, uh, but same racetrack, so we need to learn, that, learn that, that track and, yeah, get out there and try and win a race. It's a racetrack not really for the faint-hearted, isn't it? It's not easy out there. Is it, is it tactics or, or boat speed? Well, I think you need both. You know, clearly that showed. I mean, I don't think anyone got a good read on performance today. I think it was all about the timing of the shifts, positioning the boat and executing the manoeuvres well, getting off the line well. And the team that did that were the, were the Palms. You know, they did that twice and, and they were rewarded with, you know, two pretty convincing wins.